Why? That is the question people ask me most. Pourquoi? Why? For what? Why do you walk on the wire? Why do you tempt fate? Why do you risk death? But I don't think of it this way. I never even say this word. Death. La mort. Yes, okay. I said it once, so oh, maybe three times just now, but watch. I will not say it again. Instead, I use the opposite word. Life. For me, to walk on the wire, this is life. C'est la vie. So, picture with me. It's 1974, New York City, and I am in love with two buildings, two towers, or as everyone in the world calls them, the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center. They call to me. These towers, they stir something inside of me, and they inspire in me a dream. My dream is to hang a high wire between those twin towers and walk on it. Of course, uh, this is impossible, not to mention illegal. So, why attempt the impossible? Why follow your dream? But I cannot answer this question why, not with words, but I can show you how it happened. And so we must go back in time and across the ocean because my love affair with these beautiful towers did not begin in New York. In case you couldn't tell, I'm not from here. No, my story begins in another one of the world's most beautiful cities. C'est Paris. So now picture Paris. Here I am, a self-proclaimed wire walker that nobody on earth cares about, surviving as a troubadour, performing in the streets. I've created a character, I have a top hat, I wear only black, I teach myself to draw a perfect circle on the ground, and within this circle I never speak, not one word. The circle is my domain, and I don't allow even half of a toe inside of it. And if the spectators continue to violate my sacred space, well, I must employ more drastic measures. I perform for anyone who will watch me, and people love it. Man, woman, young, old, everyone. Except, of course, the police. I don't believe in getting a permit. But no matter where I was going or what I was doing, I was always searching, looking for the perfect place to hang my wire. Bonjour madame, j'ai un mal de dents épouvantable, il faut que je vous en dentiste tout de suite. Vous avez appelé pour prendre rendez-vous euh, Non, je n'ai pas le téléphone. Alors vous allez devoir patienter. Ah, patienter Madame, je vous en prie. Ça ne devrait pas durer plus de deux heures. Mais vous ne pouvez tout de même pas me demander d'endurer une telle calvaire pendant des heures. Très bien, j'attends. Et j'espère que je ne vais pas m'évanouir de douleur. Bonjour, monsieur. Tout va bien Enchanté, vraiment. C. 
Suddenly, I freeze. The pain in my tooth is gone. In the magazine, there's an article with an illustration about the towers. They're not even finished yet, but the magazine says that once they are, they will be the tallest in the world. With this tiny pencil stroke, my fate was sealed. This was the beginning of my dream. The first time I ever saw a wire worker, I was eight years old. The circus had come to my town and it featured the Omenkovsky family troupe, one of the greatest wire working troops in the world, the White Devils. Mon fils, le clown du ciel. 